What's happening, YouTube? First, it's your boy, Darkularity. Welcome back to Saddus Factory. And today, we're gonna do some stuff. <laughs> we're gonna do some stuff. But you'll notice this is something you haven't seen before. And it's just a little Kyterium setup. Kyterium? Kyterium setup that I have going on here. Uh, I just came over, set this little thing up, just producing us some quick wire. I also went through and uh, well, as you can see, I've got this bad boy here so we can slide ourselves across our power poles, which is super cool. And if I come into the build menu, I'll just pop down the man right here. Let's have a little look in there and uh, Katerium, I've gone through the tree a little bit. So we now have, uh, let me see, tier two or MK2 power poles, which have seven connection points on them. That's super awesome. Uh, unlocked a bunch of other stuff in here too. But mostly I just wanted the tier two power poles. Yes, because uh, that way we don't have to set up so many of them. They have seven connections instead of four. So they're gonna be so much better for us. Now I've got um, a pure Kateria node here. So we've got 120 per minute coming through and I've got them split into three uh, smelters here, except this one's underclocked a little bit because we don't fully need it. And then uh, we've got it evenly splitting amongst these three, creating a whole bunch of quick wire for us. Do we need all this quick wire? Not yet. Uh, how much do I have on me? I got enough for what our project today. So yeah, there we go. Now we can uh, do quick wire stuff. So that's fully set up. Let's go ahead and give this bad boy a run. Let's give it a try. So what is my plan for today? Well, the plan is I want to try to get um, an iron factory set up. We need more iron production. Once we kind of get more iron production, then we can kind of get into steel production. Although, although I'm wondering if maybe I should do steel production first. Let's get back to base here. I'm not actually sure what I want to do because now that I think about it, I am going to need, oh man, I am going to need iron for steel production because I believe we need coal and iron. Oh, I, <laughs> I flew right past that one. Um, I think we need iron and coal for steel production. So I don't really want to use all the iron we have here uh, in around this area. So let's go have a little look. We're going to look at our tiers. We're going to see uh, what we can get. Uh, made it perfect. Let's put this guy away and come into here. So we, uh, we all we have left in tier two is jump pads, which honestly is like pretty meh right now. I don't think we need it. So I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, we could unlock the tractor and truck station, which could be handy. Could be handy. But we got basic steel production and something we can get into here as well, too. Ooh, also the Xeno Basher would be pretty handy. I suppose both of these would be handy, too. Let's go ahead. Um, what am I going to do first here? I think, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm doing this one. We have most of the things to get this guy done here. I just need to go grab a couple more items. With that, we have the Xeno Basher. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to spank some alien booties with this thing. Yes, I am. Oh, it looks so good. You know what? The lights look so much better, too, since the Unreal Engine port. Ooh, looks good. I like it very much. Let's put it away. Also, I forgot. I've got a couple of hard drives. So let's start scanning one of those. And we are ready to unlock the steel production. 50 of these modular frames. Yeah, you know what? We're going to have to, before we get started, we're going to have to do iron. We're going to have to. I can delete this. I think we'll probably turn this area up here into steel production. Let's come up here. Uh, I know it's nighttime. You guys drop a comment down below. Should I get the mod that allows me to keep it daytime all the time? Or are you guys cool with nighttime? Is it hard to see? I don't know. There's not much I can do. I'm not going to increase gamma or brightness um, because it's just going to look washed out. So if you guys think you'd like just daytime play, then uh, let me know. But anyway. I'm thinking we can convert this whole area here into steel production. Maybe not like we're not going to need a massive steel factory to start out, but I want to remove all this stuff anyway. Um, so I'm thinking we can just have steel up here since we've got these iron nodes, these iron nodes here, and that should be enough. That should be enough. And then if we go over here, well, I think while we're over here, we might as well give our new Xeno Basher a try. Whoop -la! Whoop -la! <laughs> I took some damage. It's okay. Where are you going? Get back here. There you go. Told you we'd spank some baddies with that. Okay, let's uh, let's put this way. So I'm thinking down here. Okay, I did not mean to do that. We're going to take a little bit of damage. I got a little spicy on uh, a little bit of too much downward trajectory, right? Yes, okay. So we've got these three iron nodes here, and I believe they're a normal one, which is good. Good for us. That's normal, which is also good. That's normal. So we got three normal nodes here. All the ones up there are impure. 
I don't think we need as much iron for steel as we need iron for iron products, right? And then I believe over here, we've got a couple more. Uh, let's do a little scanny poo. We got a couple more iron nodes somewhere over here. Uh, right up here, right up top here, we got a couple more. So we can use those if we if we need to also, which I think uh, will be handy. So what I'm thinking of doing is, uh, this is gonna be our iron factory right here. <clears throat> I don't think these rocks are destructible. I'm almost certain these rocks are not destructible. So what we'll go ahead and do is uh, let's switch to our, where is it? Right there, our foundations. And I think we'll start our factory on the height above this, like this thing here. So if I switch to, I don't want to use the big foundations up here. I want to use the little ones. Cause then we can just add like kind of support down. But if I add this here, jump on top of it, then we're kind of at the maximum height. Um, this is going to be a standalone factory. We're not going to tie it into anything. So I don't really care about where it's at. I know we could probably like lock it onto the world grid, but, uh, that's okay. I think I want to utilize some trucks and stuff in this playthrough. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's zoop that that way. I have no idea how much foundations we're going to need, but I'm going to make a, a decent area here. I also, I don't want any clipping. This is a 12 by 10 area. So we got 10 foundations this way, 12 foundations this way. I think that's gonna be big enough to get started for now. Get a game plan. We're also good. this is gonna look like a factory when it's done. It might be a square building, but it's gonna look like a factory nonetheless. Um, and we'll add some support so it doesn't look like it's floating later down the road. So the next thing we wanna do is we want to, look, we need to take count of how much, how much iron we have, which means we're gonna need to lay down all these miners. There's one, two, three four and five now these two up here what are these impure and impure net in us 30 or per minute non overclocked so that's giving us 30 so we got 60 or per minute there let's come down back over to the i'm stuck stuck on the limestone so that's 60 i believe these each are going to do 60 as well right am i wrong or am i right 60 per minute okay i am right perfect which gives us ground total of 60 20 180 240 per minute hmm i need a way to get up there don't i i do need a temporary way to get up there until we figure out a non-temporary way to get up there let's go this way can i clip to the bottom of this please come on there we go and zoop perfect okay so we got 240 per minute which means we're gonna need to split that up we can put uh these two on a belt and we can merge this one with those two to put those all on a belt which way do I want to bring it in? It makes sense to kind of bring it this way, right? We're going to bring our ore in over on this way. So our manufacturing process is going to start on this side just to have lower belt lengths. So let's go ahead here. Production. We want smelters. Um, hmm. I'm thinking we have our smelters along this whole row here. So let's go ahead. We'll start maybe in the middle of like this foundation here. Give us a bit of room in the back. And we'll go right to the middle. So let's pop that down there. How's that look? Hey, it's good enough. So we are going to need, these are capable of doing what? 30 per minute, right? Uh, you're capable of doing 30 per minute, which means we are going to need double the amount. So let's go ahead and get those down. So there's eight of those in the ground. Um, I'm going to need splitters and I'm going to want to split these evenly amongst them. Just kind of why I left myself a little bit more room. So if I come here and I turn it, um, I guess we could probably go this way. Yeah, we're gonna wanna go that way. And then this one's also gonna wanna be like that. And then these ones don't really need any. And then same thing with these center ones. We'll come in, we'll have one here, one here. And then we can put one back in the center, kind of around the center of these ones. Uh, is this gonna work the way I want it to? Is this gonna work? Is, do I have enough room even to make this a legitimate thing here? Because I'd like to have a wall on here at some point. Also, that is definitely not in the middle. It's not where I want you to be. Let's give it the only way to know is to test this for sure. We could put a wall elevator deal here, but for now, what we could do is we could just take our elevator. We can pop it on to the bottom. We're going to have them come in this way. So we'll just stop it above the ground like that. So that works for now. We can get a wall on it once we unlock the wall elevator deals. Now, is this going to work? But mm, it's not going to work. Straight mode? No, but what am I going to do here? What am I going to do here? Okay. I think I need to move everything forward slightly. 
excuse me, sir. You're, uh, you're kind of in the way. Uh, go away. Get out of here. I love you, though. Come back and see me again sometime. Okay. Yeah. Bye-bye. All right. So I've done a little bit of load balancing. And you know what I realized, too? Let's uh, come over here. I jump around a lot like a squirrel, if you guys haven't noticed. I love these things on my legs. They're great. Anyway, uh, I realized, you know what? I've got this entire world. Things I've kind of struggled with in previous playthroughs is that I would try to scrunch everything into a tiny area, and I don't know why. I can make it as big as I want to. I got this whole planet, so we could do big factories. It doesn't even matter. I don't need to save space. We just need to be efficient. So I've split these up two groups of four, so that way, and they're in the center too, so it's kind of equal. So our stuff is all gonna come out. Did some load balancing here. So we have uh, 120 coming in here. That's getting split into 60 and 60, and then 30 and 30. Same thing's happening over there. Just very, very basic load balancing. That way uh, everything is getting kind of what it needs. So the last thing we need to do is figure out where we want our outputs to line up. And I think this is a pretty good spot where we have them coming out here. So we've got all of them merged together, coming out to two rows or two belts, 120 each, which you know what? Doesn't sound like a lot. It really does not sound like a lot. We got 120 each here. The next thing we need to figure out is what do we need to make here? We need to pop down a couple machines to figure this out. We're gonna pop you down. We're gonna pop down an assembler as well too. And let's take note of what we kind of need to make here. So we know we need iron plates, rods, screws. Mm -hmm. We need all of those things. That's pretty much it for these guys. And then in here, we're definitely gonna need reinforced iron, iron plate. Uh, we could do bolted plate. I don't know which one's better. I think bolted plate might be better, but then we'd have to make a whole bunch of screws. So I think for now, I'm gonna stick to the reinforced iron plate. Uh, just the, the original recipe. We also need to get onto modular frames. And we could probably do this at some point too. But we'll leave it for now. Uh, modular frames, we're gonna need that, which is gonna require rods and reinforced iron plates. So that's gonna be pretty easy. The first thing we need to make sure is how much of each do I wanna make, right? I don't really know. So iron plates take 30 per minute and we get 20 per minute. That's pretty cut and dry recipe. I say we turn, let's do hmm, 30 per minute. Okay, how complicated is the the rods ratio is a little different. So it's 15 per minute and then you get 15 per minute. So that's actually pretty cut and dry as well too. I say we do four, we do four uh, constructors of iron plate, which is gonna use up one of these lines here. And then we do the rest to being rods. I think that will be good for now. Yeah, also, you know what? It just reminded me too, let's go ahead. We need to pop down the bam and we need to, uh, Excuse me, ma'am, let me in. Oh, what do we get here for alternate recipes? Uh, Kate, alternate caterium wire. Uh, that might be good later. Ooh, steamed copper sheet. I think that's a good recipe. I don't even know anymore. Honestly, I don't even know anymore. I don't know. But I know I want, there's some early recipes which would be good. Like there's a screw recipe, which would be really nice. Um, let's just go ahead, let's rescan it. Ooh, that happened instantly. I was waiting. Uh, cheap silica, okay. I don't know what to get. Stitched iron plate? Is that going to be helpful for us now? Um, is stitched iron plate even good? It gives us three output per, gives us 5.625 per minute, 10 iron plates, but we don't have to do screws. Huh. We don't have to do screws. We got a copper node right there. Should we do stitched iron plate? That's going to save us a whole heck ton of screws. And honestly, the wire is pretty easy. So I think the first thing we need to do, to do, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna learn that recipe. Hard drives. Oh, I have to scan it again. <gasps> no, I should have accepted it. Did I accept it? I might have accepted it, or did I lose it? I don't even know. I don't even know. I guess uh, we need to check in the production assembler. Did I lose my stitched iron plate recipe? I did. Oh no. Does that mean I wasted a whole hard drive? Because the hard drive's not in my inventory anymore. Hard drives. Hard drive library. Okay, good, it's still here. Woo! <laughs> We're gonna learn that. I wanna go take a look and see if, uh, oh, it's cool you can re keep researching them and you don't have to. Let's go over here. We need to look over here at the copper. Okie dokie, so you are a normal copper node, which means I'm gonna get 120 per minute. Okay, we got bad dudes somewhere. Where are you at? Oh, <laughs> hello, friend. Meet my new stick, Bashy. There we go. Give me your stuff. Thank you very much. 
So we're gonna get 120 per minute, which is gonna result in a crap ton of copper wire. But you know what'd be cool? If we had the iron, um, the iron wire recipe, we could kind of keep all this iron. But I think for now, we're gonna go off the pretense that we're gonna use this. We're gonna use that. So I need to drop down. We need to come back into special here. We need to throw ourselves down an equipment workshop because yeah, in order to get a miner down here, I'm gonna need one more portable miner. Oh, I do have one more portable miner. I guess I didn't even need that. Oh, silly me, yeah, silly goose. Okay, come through one. Uh, where are we gonna send this stuff? We're gonna send it this way. We'll just bring it off this cliff here, straight down here across the ground for now. I know I took damage, it's okay, everything's fine. Nothing to see here, folks. Well, I think we're gonna start anyway. We're gonna start with our four constructors for our iron plate. So let's go ahead and get those into place. I'm gonna start right at the edge of this foundation here. And we'll just go one, two, three, and four. Because that's just nice and easy. We only have to worry about those two belts to get this start production started going. And you know what? We're not even gonna worry about load balancing on these machines. There's no point, I don't think, at least not on these ones. So we're just gonna go ahead with a splitter here and we will draw our splitter about um, this way. And then you know what? We don't even need to bring our belt through here because we can put our belt straight into not there. Oh, I put this on the wrong way. Whoopsies. Splitter uh, right here, please. And I want you to go, yeah, that way. Oh, this one needs to be rotated. What am I even talking about? Let's get that rotated. And then we can join this up here and we can just add a couple more of these like this and like that. And then we'll just join these belts up Get it all nice and connected, all zippy zappy and done. Bing bang, boom. Okay, perfect. Now all of these ones, they need to be, uh, we're talking iron plates here. So let's go ahead and copy that, paste it there. I need a key bind. I need to macro or key bind uh, copy paste. So it's a little bit quicker uh, and my fingers don't have to do so many stretches. Okay, so that is our copper plates and we're gonna put those directly into a storage chest for later usage. Um, where do I want the storage chest to be? Maybe right in front here? Hmm, how do I want this layout to go? Let's see here. Uh, we need organization, storage container. What if I put it? We could probably do two storage containers in all honesty, right? We can put one maybe here. Because you can never have enough storage, I don't think, for when it comes to, like, iron plates, right? So we'll connect these two up so both of those get filled up. That way we got a good, like, overflow of them. And then we're going to need a merger. And we're going to need the merger to be right here. But that's not a merger. That's a splitter. We'll have it this way. Put another one there. Another one here. And I don't know, you know what? Your guys' setup might be different. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my setup. Am I doing too much storage? Am I spacing things out too far? I don't know, we'll see. And then I'll just bring these back into that storage container. So that's gonna be iron plates, perfect. And uh, we got a little bit of room here too, or we could do a second level, I'm not really sure. I guess we should uh, get these belted over, which means I'm gonna need to, we'll drop one of these down right here for now. I would like wall conveyors or the wall holes at some point, but for now we don't have those, so it's okay. Drop you down. We are going to just belt this guy directly into there. Uh, I won't reach, there we go. Belt that guy directly into there. Awfully low to the ground, but that's okay. And then we will add a merger right here, and then you can just get belted directly into there. But I would love you to be at a 90 degree angle. So let's redo that, R, boom. Nice, perfect. Now I already brought power over here, so that's super cool. But we're gonna have to upgrade that pole. And then we're gonna bring power straight to about here for now. We'll bring one more back here between these two. And then we can go ahead and get both of these connected up. So you guys start pumping your ore, please. Fantastic. Okay, we need to get back up there. We need to bring the power up top. We don't have any wall stuff. And that makes me think, actually, we need to start working on the awesome shop stuff. We do. We really, really do. Um, I actually don't like that there anymore. I changed my mind about it. We're just going to bring this back to, say, here. Oh, man. I did not mean to add a second pole there. Can I delete it? Yep. Sure can. And we'll make our connection there. And then now we'll just bring this up to here. Okay. 
<clears throat> because I think the walls might rest on this part of the foundation. It could be on the outside, I don't remember. We'll have to see, but either way, that's where we're gonna go for now. And then we can go ahead, we'll bring a row of it uh, right onto this one right here. We'll bring another one forward to right here. And then we can bring these over. Really, we just need one pole here upgraded to a tier two like so okay it is good and then we can just connect all of these machines to this one power pole oh yeah these tier two power poles are the way to do it we'll bring this guy over to the middle of these machines right about here and then we'll upgrade it and then we'll just connect up all of these machines like so boom done i don't like that it goes into the machines but i could move it to the back which might actually be better just for the sake of look so yeah we're actually gonna do that sorry machines which means i'm gonna need to disconnect this and we'll bring this one to this row right here right uh right there bring it over uh we can't oh we can kind of go between the machines okay cool we'll put you there upgrade you i uh, said upgrade you okay and then here 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 and here perfect okay sweet now we need to figure out what we're gonna do with the rods and such this is already rocking and rolling these guys are waiting for the resources and uh you got no power why do you got no power oh i disconnected it right okay let's get you reconnected perfect Okay, iron plates done. So we have a lot of iron plates happening now, which is uh, which is fantastic. So what do we want to do? Let's get the man back out, and we'll just poop the man right there. Perfect. Have a little look in here. Scan complete. Oh, I want iron wire really bad. Ooh, cast screw though. Cast screw is also really nice. Steel screw I think are better. Uh, steamed copper sheet. Okay, let's rescan it. Come on, baby. Fused wire. Oh, it's not what I wanted. I wanted iron wire. Can you go back to the one you previously had? No? Okay. Um, I don't know that I would ever use this one, to be honest, or even find concrete. Huh. I can't go back, eh? I have to take one of these two. I guess we'll take fused wire. Okay, so obviously we know we're not getting iron wire, so we're gonna need to utilize that copper there, which means we're gonna need to smelt that copper, which I guess can happen here. Now, I believe copper smelts at the same rate, which is 30 to 30, right? It is 30 to 30. Okay, so we're gonna need four of these. So one, two, three, and those are all backwards. Yes, that should work. Okay, we've got conveyors, all this is set up here. We have this kind of working in the same way, except these guys are all going to be uh, copper sheets. And then let's go ahead, let's copy that. That's not what I wanted to do. Copy and then paste, 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 paste. Did I paste it on this one? Did I paste it on you? No, I did not, okay. And then they're just gonna come out here because I think we're gonna do the iron stuff first. Like we'll do the, um, let's grab this. Boop. Uh, that's not where I wanted you. I want you in line with this guy here, but at the edge of this foundation. So we're gonna start with the rods, right? So how many are we gonna need? 15, so we're probably gonna need eight of them which is actually a lot. So I think what we're gonna do is have four, that's backwards. Why do they always go backwards? You know, like this way, face me, man, face me. Okay, we're gonna have this one here. We're gonna go one, two, three, that's three, that's four. I don't wanna go any further. And then I'm going to place a merger uh, which is this guy here. I want to place a merger going that way. We're going to have a merger in front of every one of these. Just like this. Boop. There we go. Perfect. Although, although. Maybe I'll do a design I've done before. Let's delete these here. Let's delete all of those. Do I want... I only really want one belt coming out here. So you know what? I'm fine with I'm fine with the way that we just had that. It's okay. I don't necessarily need to walk between all these machines too much. I'm cool with it being on the ground for now. 
This is just early stuff. We're gonna get into fancier stuff later. We need to up our production. We need to make other things. So there we go. So we've got, <clears throat> we've got these all connected up. Uh huh. It's good there. Okay. And you're obviously going to be rods and we will uh, copy that, paste it into this one, this one, and this one. And then what I'm gonna need to do is start a second row. And we're gonna flip these ones facing this direction and we're gonna go right there with it. And then we can line these four up. One, two, and four. My counting is weird today. <laughs> yes, it is. That's okay. Place those there. No, not there. No, 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 no. There we go. Right into there. And are these equal? Uh, are you guys the same gap? Yeah, they're the same gap. And then that will bring out kind of this way, except we need storage containers for our rods. And I'm thinking our storage containers for our rods are actually gonna come through this spot here. Let's come back in. We're gonna do uh, organization storage chests. Do we want them to be right here? Um, or in front of them again, just like that. Honestly, I think, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I know I wanna set up screw production here. So I think we're gonna just have a storage container right here. We'll do one more in front of it like that. And this will be for the rods. And then we'll just connect that up. And it's real close to that machine, but that's okay. I wanna have a bit of space because we're gonna have to bring the copper through here at some point, but we'll place it down there for now. Although copper might be happening on the next level or maybe we expand this out a bit. I don't know, we'll see when we get there. So now I know I need to bring in my, a splitter here. We need to put a splitter here. Not that direction though. Uh, actually, yeah, that was correct. Splitter there, splitter there, splitter there. Go ahead and connect all of these up just like so that, that, and that, and that. Do the same thing to the back. You know what? They definitely changed these power poles because when I put this down, that's already a tier two power pole. It used to always be a tier one. That's why I got used to like switching and upgrading it as soon as I placed it. But uh, I'm glad they made that change. That's handy. Okay, so what we got going down over here, we have the uh, iron coming in through here. It's getting split both ways, so 60-60 funneled into these four machines, power's already connected, funneled into these four machines, all of their output combined together because we're gonna have 120 um, iron rods coming out of here, which is one full belt. And that is gonna get put into, let's put that in there, into these two containers. So we also got a bit of overflow. Now we're gonna need a couple more constructors here. Let's put the constructors for our screws um where do we want our constructors maybe on this row here well no maybe halfway yeah let's do it halfway but in line with this one Um, right there is that where we want it that's not gonna be enough room to do anything with not enough room to do anything with okay it's okay we'll do it in line with the last one how many constructors do i even need or want that's another question let's put that down there Okay, screws, boop. How many do you get? 40 per minute for 10 iron rods. So we're doing 120 iron rods. We're gonna need a lot of screws. This area is not big enough for our screw needs currently. So we need to expand it a little bit, I'm thinking. Well, it's expanded and I kind of got started on the screw setup here. It does go into this poison cloud area slightly, but uh, once we get an obelisks, we'll just blow those up and then there won't be a problem anymore. Okay, so what I got going on here for screws is uh, three rows of screws, which is three rows of three. Because we get 40 out per minute here, so in order to get one full belt, we need three constructors of 120 screws per minute. Combined, we'll fill a belt, which is 30 rods per minute, right? So, oh, I forgot some connections here. Let's uh, connect those while we talk. I'm bringing all the screws out this way. Connect those up. Um, so we're essentially gonna get three full belts of 120 screws per minute, which is a lot of screws. That's what, 360 screws per minute. Uh, that side's all connected up. So we've got those coming out here. So we got one set coming here, one set coming here, and then we have the other set of three going into a storage container. I don't necessarily think I need to store screws that much, but that's why I just have one of them going into a container. 
and then coming out there. So that's 120, 120, and 120 ready to be used for things, stuff and things. And then we're only using, out of all of our rods, we're only using 90 of our 120 rods per minute. So we're gonna get some in storage as well too. And we got the copper coming through here. So I think that's a pretty good start, pretty good start. Um, next episode, obviously I wanna get started on um, automating our uh, iron plate or our reinforced iron plates. Uh, let's drop a, a machine down here. We don't need the constructor necessarily. We need the assembler. Let's have a little looky poo at that. So we need to do the iron plates, which I'm thinking of, like I said, the stitched iron plate for now. So we gotta do that. We gotta do modular frames. And then we also need to do rotors. Probably AI limiters at some point as well too, but we definitely need rotors. Once we get those things automated, we're gonna move on to steel, right? So next episode, I think we're gonna add a second floor to this factory where we're gonna do our iron plates, our frames and our rotors. And yeah, and if you guys have any input or things like that, actually, you know what, before we go here, let's go ahead, let's grab this. We're gonna power up this bad boy. We're gonna drag this guy to this bad boy and everything will power to life. All those miners, they're all connected. I got the uh, copper coming down here, up this one. I've got the other two iron notes coming through and underneath here. And they join up with this one right here. So yeah, we're gonna have iron. This whole thing's gonna roar to life. Our ratios are good. We shouldn't be starved for any resources. And excuse me jumping all over the place. I'm still getting used to <laughs> I'm still getting used to the controls of this thing. So I don't think we should be starved for anything. And excuse me, sir, what are you doing in here? Goodness gracious. Um, yeah, if you guys have any input or anything, drop a comment down below. It'd be super handy if you did that. And uh, let me know if you guys like the format. Should I, you know, I just did this little bit of the factory for now. I'm still trying to figure out how the recordings are going to go, things like that. Do you guys want to see more like cutout content and, and bigger factories built in each video? Or do you guys like follow me along for kind of the step-by-step -step for all these things as we kind of progress here? Um, obviously later game things are gonna have to change, but you guys drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, all that good stuff. Um, it'll all help me on the future for going forward and making content for this channel. And if you guys like the video, please do smash that thumbs up. It really does help with the channel. And if you're not yet subscribed and you wanna see more content just like this, go ahead, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming everybody. We will see you next time. Peace. Oh, he agrees, he's happy. Bye-bye.